We got Club Soda Kenny in studio. Hello. From time to time, we'd like uh, Kenny to come in here and give us uh, the news. Right. With his own special twist because, you know, he just loves telling bad news. Bad news. He loves uh, informing people of tragedy, just things, you know, bad, anything bad, from the weather to the most heinous uh, incident. Yeah, and we all and noticed. Loves it. We all noticed, and then finally Jimmy brought it up on the air, like you know, so yeah. we got to talk about this because it's always something like, "Look, I don't want to be a bother. Or I, 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 I don't really want to tell you this, but." But and, and he's uh, kind of a. I told you, and like Jimmy has said in the past, like he can't wait to tell you the bad news. And but, yeah. but he makes believe he's he's just uh, trying to do the right thing, and <laughs> that's why I love Kenny. Yes, the, the other night when you guys were out at that uh, that awful manager's meeting, my girl and I went out to eat at a restaurant. Ooh. And um, Kenny, we called, and we were we, there was we was like a mile walk to the restaurant, so we had walked there. We were gonna get a car back, and I'm like, Kenny, well, the car the guys are used. I figured you guys were in an SUV. I didn't know you were in a limo. Um, I'm like, what, what would it cost me for an extra hour to keep that van? I thought, uh, I'm like, just tell me, and I'll have it come get me, so we don't have to walk another mile back after we eat. And he's like, I'll, I'll come, I'll come. I'm like, you don't have to come, man. It's just, just send it over, whatever it is, just tell me. I'll pay for it. What is it, an extra 50 bucks? I, I don't know. But it, it's like shit on heels. We don't want to walk a mile. Right. So I'm like, we just sat down to, to eat. Um, you know, tell him it would be about 45 minutes. Five minutes later, Kenny runs in and sits down and goes, hi, I just wanted to talk a little business. And I go, well, that's no problem, man. I didn't, we never mind. And, uh, and my girl goes, uh, well, why don't you uh, why don't you join us? I'm like, yeah, why don't you have something to eat, man? We, we don't even get our eye. He goes, no, I, do, I don't want to be a bother. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to intrude. Hey, he's on a date. I don't want to impose. He's, he tell, By the way, though, he tells you that as he's pulling the chair out yeah. to get ready to sit down. <laughs> Not only did he want to impose, but he told the driver to step on it so he could impose. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't Step wait. on it. But I will There's say. There's too much fun going on at that restaurant. Was the, i got to get there immediately. It was the worst attempt at a motivational cover-up I've ever seen. Really? I don't want to impose. But I'm a little hungry. I'm going to go back and order yeah. room service. Yeah. We we didn't. We wanted him to stay. It wasn't to be yeah. polite. We wanted Kenny to stay because we love the company. My girl loves him so. Uh, Jason from Toronto is calling you the ghoul of gloom. Good for him. You ready for some news there, Kenny? Yes, sir. All right, hold on. We got an intro and everything. Let me play this because Steve spent at least three minutes on this. <laughs> <laughs> and now, maybe you should sit down. With Club Soda Kenny. That's right, people. Sit down and take a couple deep breaths because it's me, Club Soda Kenny, with today's bad news. Do you like Mexican food? Yeah, I like Mexican food. Well, if you ate a Taco Bell in the past month, chances are you're going to die. <laughs> Is that serious? I don't know about that. You might have a little explosive you-know-what for a while. Well, and I bet you it won't be a pleasant death either, because you're probably going to die on a toilet. Because over 18 people in the New York area have tested positive for the E. coli virus. 18 people out of 15 million? Or, you don't uh, say. How many are here? That's a lot Man? of people. Yeah, that's Population in New York, then? I was going to go with 12. I don't know. <laughs> Alderaan, he says. Yeah. <laughs> but they got contaminated onions uh, from Taco Bell. Sounds more like Taco Hell to me. <laughs> and, and you know what? Ah. Apparently nobody at NASA knows what they're doing either. What? Really? Yeah, because, you know, several technical, between, like, several technical problems and bad weather in the forecast, Thursday's night shuttle lunch is in serious doubt. Really? Yeah. The, the shuttle lunch is in doubt? <laughs> the, shuttle's, the shuttle's lunch is in doubt, huh? And horse yeah. dash. And the launch, too. <laughs> you... Oh, and the launch. Yeah, I don't think the, the shuttle's going to take off, is yeah. what I'm trying or to eat. say. I hate when Thursday's night shuttle lunch is no good. <laughs> God almighty, do you need glasses? <laughs> yeah, get your glasses on. I don't want to impose. He was talking to a salt shaker. Oh. <laughs> now, this is number 14 font. I'm good. All right, good. <laughs> but, you know, speaking of the shuttle launch, mm. at this rate, they'll be lucky if they launch a shuttle at any time this year. You'd think somebody in the space program would know how to read a weather map. 
Well, you would think. You would yeah. think. There's uh, there's delays with the space shuttle uh, mission, yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, they haven't updated that space shuttle in quite a long time. Yeah, same thing. Same yeah. thing. Maybe some flat screens they, they threw in the in the old uh, cockpit yeah. area. A little uh, modern yeah. electronics, maybe. They might have got rid of some of that clunky uh, equipment and, and, and replaced it with flat screens. It's something new. Yeah. Yeah. Something uh, Star Wars-y. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> And, and you know, wait, it, did you actually say that or did Aunt and I just say that? Yeah. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And you know, it's the holiday season. It's supposed to be happy and joyous. Right. And, and it is. Sure. Yeah. Is. yeah it's yeah. a great it's time scary. of year. It is. I'm it, happy. How are you going to, you know, bum us out as far as Christmas well, goes? You know, I don't want to get you down in the dumps. But if you were hoping to buy all your presents, you know, according to that song, the 12 days of Christmas. The cost of the items are up more than 3% from last year. And buying one of everything will cost you almost $19,000. But who the hell is going to buy that crap for their loved one? No one. Uh, somebody did. They made a song about it. It's all about birds. That's but all. buying one part. of everything? Yeah. yeah can't... Or like buying one and then the two and then yeah. three. Yeah. yeah. Like five golden rings. You're buying one right. of each of the five, so it would be five items. Five? Right. That's right. Right. That's, is this that's, everything? That's also what I meant to say. <laughs> everything in the song? Yeah. Because it says, and buying one of everything will cost you almost $19,000. So that's like, wh how does it start? One What's thing. the first thing? True love brought for me a, a partridge. partridge. Oh, so a partridge in a pear tree. Right, one of them. And then the second day is what? The tree is expensive because there's shipping involved. Right. You have to keep the bird in it. Yeah, yeah. pear tree, so there's probably some type of uh, a cage. Heavy fruit hanging off the tree. <laughs> you know what a partridge Strange. goes for these days? Yes, very expensive. But not as expensive as two turtle doves. Right. Right. So now is it just one turtle dove? Because you said one of everything. No, he's stupid. He probably thought it was turtle soup. He bought a, a, a tree and two turtle soups. <laughs> Kenny, who who buys a partridge in a pear tree? Yeah. The guy who wrote the song. Has oh. anyone ever bought a partridge in a pear tree for their love? buy that. Where would you buy that? They sell it. On eBay. Mm. All right. What is number three, by the way? Three what? Three. What, Sam? What? Oh, yeah, three friends. It's More just birds. All about birds. Ew. Stupid birds. Who is this guy? The bird flu. I don't know. Mm, da, ya. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> ya, da, scoot. All right, continue with your uh, buying one of everything will cost you almost $19,000. Yeah, and that's not even taking into account the declining dollar. You know, so consider yourself forewarned, people. And and since it looks like we're running out of time, I'm going to cut it short. Yeah. So that's all the news for today. But let me end with this. Enjoy today's slightly milder weather because tomorrow it's going to be freezing in New York. And can I commend Kenny on the excellent way he read everything on the paper, then looked at the clock and said, let me, let me stop this because we're running out of time. We're running out of time. As if there was a bevy of humorous <laughs> items to get to. And an, an executive decision had to be made. He read everything on this yeah. page. And right now, he would have said we're running out of time if it was 7.40. We've run out of the printed word. Oh, well, I could have improv a little. Like, oh. last yeah? week, I had some news, but I got I got bumped. Oh. Like, the guy that got bit by the killer whale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah why do you think they call them killer whales? Wow, it's unfortunate that we're running out of time. <laughs> There is such a reason you got bumped before you told that. I'll tell you why they call them killer whales, because they don't write jokes like that. <laughs> right. That was a bomb whale. <laughs> it certainly was. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, wow. It's time for a MacBook.